Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this beautiful poncho. We will make four squares. They are all the same pattern but feel free to play around with the colors. When the four squares are folded together, they make the left shoulder, the right shoulder, the front and the back. My poncho is 34 inches long without the tassels and 36 inches wide. I'm using a i9 or 5.5 mm hook and mandala yarn from Lion Brand. I used a little less than two skeins for my poncho. We will add a border with lark's foot pattern and you can add more rounds, so you may need more than two skeins if we decide to make your poncho larger. Let's start our first square. Make a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Make a slip stitch into the very first loop into the very first chain. Chain two, and that's the beginning of round one. Make 24 double crochet into the ring. One, two, three, and I double crochet around my loose end as well. Make 24 double crochet, not including the chain of two. I made 24 double crochet into the ring and cut my yarn, and I pull my yarn out of the last double crochet and thread a needle. Now you can make an invisible join to keep the stitch count of 24. Skip over the first chain and the second chain and skip over the first double crochet. Go into your second double crochet through both loops from the front to the back. You see the loop we're creating right now replaces the first double crochet. Then where the yarn is coming out of, go top down into your last double crochet, turn your work a little bit and go through both loops in the back. And now you can stitch your loose end in and if you count you should have 24 stitches and the invisible join is nice because you cannot see where the round starts or where the round ends and now we can change color in round two you can start round two anywhere i switch to a new color and i hold the yarn tight so i can wrap the yarn around the hook but you can also make a slip knot but you need a loop on the hook make a yarn over and then start anywhere and make a double crochet go to the next stitch and make a double crochet go to the next stitch and make a double crochet chain three one two three then make three doubles into the next three stitches again one, two, three, chain three, go into the next three stitches and make three double crochet. One, two, and three, chain three, go into the next three stitches, make three double crochets, and then chain three in between. So at the end you have eight groups of three doubles with chain threes in between. Finish round two with a chain of three, make a slip stitch into the first double crochet and I cut my yarn. I make one more chain to secure the yarn and I will start round three with a new color. You can start round three in any of the chain spaces of three. Make three double crochet into the chain space of three. One, two and three chain one make three more doubles into the same chain space one two and three so we have a fan stitch three doubles one chain and three doubles go into the next chain space of three and repeat the fan stitch three doubles one two three one chain and three doubles. One, two, three. Then go directly into your next chain space and repeat the fan stitch. Three doubles, one chain 
and three double crochet. I finished round three with a slip stitch into the first double crochet and made a chain and cut the yarn. Start round four and we start with a new color again. You can start in any shell stitch. Here was the first group of three doubles. Make three doubles into the second group of any shell stitch. Go into the first of the three doubles. Make the double, go into the second of three doubles. Make the second double and the third double into the next double crochet. Then make three more doubles into the next three doubles and that's our next shell stitch. One, two, three. So we have six double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip over the chain of one and then make six double crochet again into the next six doubles. One, two, three, then go to the next shell stitch and make three more doubles, four, five, and six, chain three, one, two, three, skip over the chain, and then into the next six double crochet, make the six doubles, chain three, make six doubles. Finish round four with a chain of three, then pull your yarn out and thread a needle and we will make another invisible join. Skip over the first double crochet and then go through the two threads of the second double crochet from the front to the back and then back where the yarn is coming out of, of the last chain. Go top down into the last chain and then over to the left side and secure your yarn. And now we have our stitch count correct. Start round five with a new color. You can start at any of the chain spaces. Make three double crochet into the chain space of three. One, two, and three. And we always work in groups of three in this round. Chain one, make three doubles into the next three doubles. One, two, three and we chain one in between the three doubles make three doubles into the next three doubles one two three chain one and then repeat the pattern go into the chain space of three and make three doubles one two three chain one make three doubles into the next three doubles one two and three, chain one, and make three more doubles into the next three doubles. One, two, three, chain one, make three doubles into the chain space, chain one, make three doubles into the next three doubles, chain one, and then make three doubles into the next three doubles, chain one. Finish round five with a chain of one, skip over the first double, make a slip stitch into the second double, into the third double and into the chain space of one and start round six. Make a chain and a single crochet into the chain space of one, chain three, one, two, three, skip over the three doubles, go into the next chain space of one, make a single crochet, chain three, skip over the next three doubles Make a single crochet into the chain space of one, chain three, skip three, make a single crochet. Finish round six with a chain of three. We made 24 chain spaces. Go into the single crochet and make a slip stitch. And then I make one more chain and I'll change color and round seven. In round seven, we will make four double crochet into every chain space and you can start in any chain space. Make four doubles, one, two, three, four, go to the next chain space and make four doubles, one, two, three, and four, make four doubles in every chain space. We made 24 groups of four double crochet. Finish round seven, skip over the first double, make a slip stitch into the second double, the third double, the fourth double, and then the space in between the two groups of four doubles. Start round eight. 
make a chain and a single crochet between the two groups of four doubles. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and then skip four doubles and go in between the groups of four doubles. Single crochet, chain four, single crochet, skip the four doubles, single crochet between the groups of four doubles. Chain four, skip four, single crochet. At the end of round 8 we have 24 chain spaces. Finish with a chain of 4, slip stitch into the single crochet, chain 1, cut your yarn and start round 9 with a new color. You can start in any of the chain spaces. Make 9 double crochet in any of the chain spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Make a chain, go to the next chain space, make a single crochet, make one chain, go to the next chain space and make nine double crochet. Chain 1, go to the next chain space, make a single crochet, chain 1, go to the next chain space and repeat, make 9 double crochet, then chain 1, make the single crochet into the next chain space, chain 1, make 9 double crochet into the next chain space. We made 12 shells, finish with a chain, pull the yarn out of the chain and thread a needle, skip over the first double. Go into the second double from the front to the back through both loops and back into the chain, top down into the back loop and then go into the back and secure your yarn. We made the invisible join. Start round 10 with a new color. Make 9 back post double crochet around the 9 double crochet of every shell stitch and you can start in any of the shell stitches. Go around the first double crochet from the back to the front and from the front to the back around the entire double crochet. Pull through, pull through two loops and pull through two loops. Go to the second double crochet, back to the front, front to the back, make the double crochet and repeat that seven more times. So in this round, we make back post double crochet around every double crochet of the previous round. So in all of the shell stitches. When you made the 9 back post doubles, move to the next shell stitch and start over. Make 9 back post double crochet around the 9 double crochet of every shell stitch. Finish round 10 with an invisible join. Skip the first double, go into the second double and back into your last double from the top down. Stitch your loose end in and start round 11 with a new color. You can start anywhere with a new color. We will make 11 stitches. We will start between the second and the third double crochet. We will go right around the entire stitch and make one, two, three, four, five, six double crochet and then around the third, fourth, fifth, six and seven double we will make back post double so 11 stitches all together. Make your double crochet between the second and the third double one two go right around the entire stitch and make the double crochet. Go into the third double and make the back post back to the front, front to the back, make a back post double crochet. Then in between the next two doubles where we just make the back post, make a double. Make a back post into the next double. Make a double right where we made the back post right next to it between the next two doubles. Then a back post into the next double. 
a double crochet in between the two doubles so here's the back post and we always go in between make the double make the back post into the next double and then make a double next to the back post and a back post into the next double and then we have two more doubles left we will always finish with a double crochet make the last double crochet between the seventh and the eighth double crochet let's double check we leave the first two doubles empty one two we always leave the last two doubles empty one two we will always start with a double we will always finish with a double so we have six double crochet one two three four five six doubles and in between we have the five back posts one two three four five make two chains and then start again go between the second and the third double make a double and here's how i count i make double back post 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 and now i can see i have two more left so i will make my last double so i don't count to 11 i just do double back post double back post and so on until i can see i have only two more left and that's where i stop my last stitch is the double so let's see again we leave the first two empty then we make a double six times in between the doubles one two three four five six the last two are empty and in between or just around the double crochet we make one two three four five back posts and then make two chains and start again one two between the second and the third double make 11 stitches six doubles with five back posts in between and leave the first and the last two doubles empty and in between the 11 stitches make two chains finish round 11 with a chain of two make a slip stitch into the first double crochet and into the back post double crochet and start round 12 chain one make a single crochet into the back post chain three one two three skip over the second back post go into the third back post in between the two double crochet make a single crochet chain three one two three skip to the fifth back post in between the two double crochet our last back post make a single crochet chain three make a single crochet into the chain space of two chain three one two three and start over make a single crochet into the first back post chain three make a single crochet to the third back post so it's the stitch right in the middle between the two doubles chain three go to the last to the fifth back post in between the two doubles make a single crochet chain three one two three make a single crochet into the chain space chain three and then repeat the pattern make a single crochet into the first back post chain three make a single crochet into the third back post chain three make a single crochet into the fifth back post chain three make a single into the chain space of two chain three so in each sequence we have one two three four chain spaces of three We made 48 chain spaces finish round 12 with a slip stitch into the single crochet and pull your yarn through we will change color in round 13. you can start in any of the chain spaces make three double crochet in all of the 48 chain spaces one two three go to the next chain space of three and make three doubles 
one, two, and three. Make three double crochet in all of the 48 chain spaces. Finish round 13 with an invisible join and start round 14 with a single crochet and you can start in between any of the two groups of three double crochet. Make the single, chain three, go in between the next groups of three doubles, single crochet, chain three, go to the next two groups in between, make the single crochet, chain three. And we have 48 chain spaces this way. Finish round 14 with a slip stitch into the single crochet and into the chain space and start round 15 and we will make our corners now. We will divide our circle into four sections with 12 spaces. Put your first marker where you just made the slip stitch. That's our first space. Then count 12 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Into the 13th space, put your second marker. So the 13th space is our first space again of the next step section. Count again 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put the marker into the 13th. Then count again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put your marker into the 13th space and that's the last section where the marker is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then when you count one more that's where our marker is for the first space. Let's start with the first space. I've made a drawing where you can see the 12 chain spaces and the stitches that go into each of the chain space. Notice we make three stitches into every chain space. Let's start with the first chain space. Make three treble crochet. Chain four for the first treble. One, two, three, four. Then make two more trebles into the same chain space and that's one side of our corner space. So we have three trebles. Then make five chains and three trebles into the second chain space. One, two, three, four, five chains. Go to the second chain space and make three trebles and that's the first corner. One, two trebles, three trebles. The third chain space, one, two, three, gets three double crochet. Make three doubles into the third chain space. One, two, three, Make three doubles into the fourth chain space. One, two doubles, three doubles. Make three half doubles into the fifth chain space and make three half doubles into the sixth chain space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Three half doubles into the fifth chain space. One, two, three and three half doubles into the sixth chain space one two three then the next two chain spaces seven and eight get three doubles i'm sorry three singles each three singles into the chain space seven three singles into chain space eight one two three singles into the chain space number seven and then next to it into the eighth chain space also three singles one two three and now we're getting larger again towards our second corner into the space nine and ten make three half doubles and three half doubles so we're making the same thing but in reverse now three half doubles one two three into the ninth chain space and also into the 10th chain space, three half doubles, one, two, three. Then we have two more chain spaces left and then we get to our second corner. So we did everything right. Three doubles into chain space 11 and three doubles into chain space 12. One, two doubles, three doubles, move to the 12th and last chain space and make three doubles, one, two and three and now we can repeat everything that we just did 
into chain space one. That's our next marker. We start with the corner. Three trebles. One. Two. And three. Then the five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the second chain space, also three trebles. One, two, three. We make three doubles into the third chain space, move to the next chain space, make three doubles. One, two, three. And into the fourth chain space, also three doubles. One, two, three, move to the next chain space, chain space five, make three half doubles and make three half doubles into chain space six, move to the next chain space, make three half doubles, one, two, three, move to the next chain space, that's chain space number six, make three half doubles, one, two, three, chain space seven and eight, make three singles in each, one, two, three, chain space seven, move to chain space eight, make three singles, one, two, three, chain space nine and ten, make three half doubles each, one half double, two halves, three halves in chain space nine, and three halves in chain space ten, one, two, three, and we have two chain spaces left over, chain space 11 and chain space 12. Make three double crochet into chain space 11, one, two, three, and three doubles into chain space 12, our last chain space before the next corner, one, two, three. Make this pattern two more times. Here's our third corner. Start with the space number one where the marker is and repeat the same stitches we did before. Make the three trebles into space number one, chain five, make three trebles in space number two, three doubles in space number three, three doubles in space number four, three half doubles in space number five, three half doubles in space number six, three singles in space number seven, three singles in space number eight, three half doubles in space number nine, three half doubles in space number 10, three doubles in space 11, and three doubles in space 12. You should have from corner to corner, including the three trebles and those three trebles, there should be 36 stitches. Finish round 15 with three double crochet into the last chain space, then into the one, two, three, fourth chain, make a slip stitch. Into the first treble crochet, make a slip stitch. And into the second treble crochet, make a slip stitch. And into the chain space of five and start round 16. Make the first corner chain four and make two more trebles into the same chain space. So including with the chain, we have three treble crochet. Now chain only three, one, two, three, and make three more treble crochet into the corner. One. Two. And three. And now we will repeat exactly the same stitches that we did the round before. We made three trebles, so we will make three trebles. We made six doubles, two times three, so we will make the two times three doubles and so on. We will make exactly the same stitches we did before. Make three trebles into the previous three trebles. One, two, and three. Then we made the two times three doubles, make the six doubles, one, two, three doubles into the previous three doubles, and then again three doubles into the previous three doubles, one, 
two, three, then we made six half doubles, two times three, and we make six half doubles, one, two, three halves into the previous halves, and again, three half doubles into the previous half doubles, one, two, and three, then we made the six singles. So let's make six singles, two times three, one, two, three, and then again, three singles, one, two, three. Then we work our way back to the largest stitches. We made six halves. Let's do six half doubles, one, two, three, and again, three half doubles, one, two, and three half doubles. And our last stitches were the three doubles two times before we get to the trebles again. So we make six doubles, one, two, three, and again, three doubles, one, two, three, and then we have our corner and we repeat the six trebles, or I should say three trebles into the previous trebles first. One treble into the previous treble, two, and three, and then we make the corner again, three trebles into the chain space of five, one, two, three, and only three chains this time, and then three more trebles into the same chain space of five, one, two, and three, and then repeat again, make all the stitches we made in the previous round, the same stitches. Let's see, we made the three trebles, and then it's just six of everything, so it's the same stitches as, as here. Six doubles, six half doubles, six singles, six halves, and six doubles. And then when you get to the corner, you make the last three trebles, and in the corner you make three trebles, three chains, and three trebles. So the only thing that has changed is the corner where we make three chains instead of five. The rest is all the previous stitches make the same stitches as the previous stitches. At the end of round 16, we have 42 stitches from corner to corner. Finish round 16 with four slip stitches into the fourth chain, into the first treble, into the second treble, and into the chain space and start round 17, our last round to complete the square. Make three double crochet into the corner. One, two, three, chain three. Then make three more double crochet into the corner. One, two, Three. In this round, we will work in groups of six. We have three double crochet. Make three more double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. So we have our six first double crochet now. Chain one, skip the next stitch and then repeat again. Six double crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one, skip one, make six doubles into the next six stitches. Chain one, skip one, make six doubles. I'm almost finished with the first side. I made the six doubles, chain one, skip one, six doubles, chain one, skip one, until I'm at the next corner and I have four more stitches left. Chain one, skip one stitch, make three doubles into the previous three stitches before we get to the corner. One, two, three, and then repeat the corner. Three doubles, three chains, three doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three doubles, three chains, and three doubles into the corner. One, two, three, and then we continue in groups of six. So make the three doubles into the next three stitches to get the six doubles. So the three in the corner and the three we're making now. One, two, three, chain one, skip one stitch and start the next group of six double crochet so make the six doubles chain one skip one six doubles chain one skip one and then we have four stitches left over chain one skip one stitch make three doubles into the previous three stitches and then the corner three doubles three chains and three doubles so on all of the sides each side we have one two three four five six seven groups with six doubles and chain ones in between finished around with a chain skip over one stitch and then make three double crochet one two three into the previous three stitches and then we have our three here so we have six doubles here as well cut your yarn and make an invisible join skip the first double go into the second double and back into the last double and stitch in your loose end and now we completed our first square make three more squares just like the first one and feel free to play around with the colors i hope to see you in part two where we will put our puncher together